to Get Real with Estiel, a woman empowerment podcast hosted by Estiel Albaba. Hello and welcome to another episode of Get Real with Estiel. Today is Monday, October 1st, 2018. Honestly, I started recording this episode a few times and then I decided to talk about what I'm about to talk about now. Um, I re-recorded two episodes because I changed my mind and I didn't want to release the stuff that I recorded. So hopefully, whatever I decided to finally share with you is going to be worthwhile to you and will add value to your day. It's not going to be a long episode. I've prepared uh, some thoughts in my head and I'm just speaking off the cuff. And here we go. What I wanted to talk about is the importance of congruency between your vision and your standards. Sometimes in life, we have really big champagne quality visions and we have beer standards. And sometimes it's the exact opposite, where we have beer vision, but champagne standards. And it doesn't really matter how big or small your vision is. What's important is that your standards have to be more or less matching that vision so that you actually make it a reality. And here's what I mean by that. So you often have, if you, if you were to ever set big goals for yourself, You want to lose weight, you want to get promoted, you want to start your own business, you want to become a millionaire, you want to travel the world, you want to, you know, make a billion dollars, whatever your dreams are, no matter how big they are. Um, We do have the ability to just go wide with our imagination. This is one of the biggest gifts we have as humans. But if we don't raise up our standards to match these massive dreams that we're capable of actually dreaming of, then what is the point of that? So if we really want to become millionaires and have the fittest, sexiest bodies and best relationships and freedom and whatever it is else you dream about, but you're not raising your standards to wake up early, to be disciplined, to to do your best, to, to get the job done, to stay hours to get whatever needs to be done done, uh, to be an action-oriented person, to eat healthy, to exercise, to meditate, to do your spiritual rituals, to do everything else you need to do to cut out the people in your life that are naysayers, that are negative, that are clinging onto your energy and absolutely adding no value, then how on earth do you expect these dreams to manifest in your life? When your standards, your pillars around it aren't supporting enough, If your dreams are big, you need a strong foundation to support them. And these strong foundations are pretty much the standards that you have. So evaluate your standards today. Evaluate what exactly can you improve on them. And even if you identify a whole list, because writing this list down is important, even if you do identify a big list, don't expect yourself to change it overnight. Be compassionate with yourself and realize that this is more about the journey than it is about the destination. And the journey in itself is going to be rewarding if you are doing it with intentions. You have a goal, a big goal in mind, and you know that you're going to stop at absolutely nothing until you get to that goal. And having that in mind keeps you going and raising your standards and your bar higher and higher and higher. And this is why I believe in mentorships and coaching along the way, because sometimes you're incapable of pushing yourself to your highest limit. And even if you do, there's probably even higher limit than you, new territory that you haven't even explored yet. We are probably stronger and brighter and smarter and more compassionate and more capable than we think we are. And this is just the interesting thing is about us humans. It really makes me wonder what I am really capable of if I just let myself unleashed, if I just simply let go of my fears and limitations and self-doubt, what possibly can I come up with in this world? How can I possibly impact this world and make it a better place? What kind of legacy I'm going to leave behind? And these are questions that keep me up at night. And I try to improve and share my journey along the way so that I 
you know, inspire you along the way and get inspired by you because this is a human experience. It's not unique to me. I mean, yes, my path is unique to me. My personality is unique to me. But at the end of the day, our challenges and the things that stand in our way are very universal and they're very similar. So we can definitely learn from one another. And when you achieve success and share it with the people around you and, and tell them about practical ways to raise up their standards, tell them about practical ways to set standards and, and, and keep challenging them along with ways to keep your vision focused, then you become a shining example of how these theoretical principles can gain practicality on a day-to-day life. And this is what we're missing. Because anybody can up, go up stage or go on a podcast or record a video and just talk about theories and things that make sense if you just have common sense. But the challenge is never with understanding the theories of success and the theories of what make life what it is. The challenge is always in practicing these things and being consistent and persistent about it. This is personally a challenge of mine and I really do speak from my heart when I say that. I do have big visions and sometimes I do, excuse my French, fuck up with my standards. I lower them. I potentially forget about them and and this is why through the lessons that I personally learned that I aim to share experiences and and share um, stories with you to inspire you on a real level so (sighs) pause and you know i'm gonna go into a separate uh, subject here but it is in alignment with standards one of the areas in life that impacts us the most are relationship relationships in general are probably one big area in everyone's life around the world and that could be relationships with you know your friends your family but the most important relationship is the one you have with yourself and i think that the standards of that should be the highest because you can control that you can control the relationship you have with yourself and you need to constantly work on improving it because how you treat yourself and what you think of yourself and the self-talk you have ultimately impacts everything else i think this is a nucleus of of, of really how things start If you believe in yourself, then you're going to unleash your imagination. You're going to dream big and ultimately set uh, goals to to achieve and continually grow because you believe it's possible and you believe you're worthy of it. And if you don't, then simply your life would go downhill pretty quickly, pretty fast, and, and, and you can stay there all your life. So if you examine the relationship you have with yourself, then... You truly are starting from a good um, starting point. And, and, and this is ultimately one of the lessons that I've had to learn constantly and in different forms throughout my 20s. It came to me in different intensities. It came to me through different realizations. And I continue to, to you know, acknowledge it and I continue to come across situations that it reinforces it just because you now become aware of a lesson it doesn't mean life wouldn't bring it up to you again because knowing about it is something owning it is another mastering it is another and just living it is another so so I'm at a point where I'm conscious of this lesson but I haven't fully mastered it yet and and I continue to work on myself to to be in a position that allows me to do so. So I just wanted to share these things because they're all connected. The relationship you have with yourself is connected to the standard, standards rather, that you set. uh, And that's ultimately connected to how big your visions can be and whether or not you have the capacity to achieve them. Ultimately, I do believe that we are capable of achieving anything we set our minds to. And I mean anything. However, we can get in our own way. And acknowledging that is certainly a good place to start from. So I just wanted to share that with you. Quick, easy thoughts to get you on your way. Starting your week off the right foot. Setting goals that you know you're capable of and believing in yourself. And just going for it. Because the biggest fear I have in my life is not 
fulfilling my purpose is dying without necessarily tapping into the potential that I knew I was born to have and I know that we all are I don't think it's a unique thing to to few people in this world I think we all have greatness inside of us and and it can be nurtured through love and affection from people around us it can be nurtured from people who support us but even if we do not have these external resources it has to be nurtured by us I mean external resources are not reliable and and they're not given to everybody but if we have the capability of recognizing this in, inside of us then we are really the only people standing in our own way and there has to come a point in your life where you decide that that's simply not good enough anymore you're not born to be good you are born to shine your greatness in this world and you have to start by examining the standards you've set to yourself and sticking to them. Standards are everything and so is integrity. Integrity in your standards is probably the most important place to start from. So this is it my friends. I hope this was helpful. I mean I'm sure it's nothing new you haven't heard before but it's always like I said it acts as reminders. If you can just for now after hearing this episode, look at the different areas in your life, the food you're eating, how much workout you're having, the relationships you have with people, the work and the hours of the day you spend on work and how fulfilling that is, the relationship you have with your partner or kids if you have any, the relationship you have with your spirituality and your higher being and the universe or God and whatever you call it um, and examine all these areas and, and see which areas you can probably raise the bar a little bit higher? Which areas you're, you've lowered your standards in and it's time to rejig it? And don't overwhelm yourself with so many to do, to do things. I mean, pick an area that you want to focus on and that helps you build momentum that continues to, to bleed into other areas and, you know, help you overall increase the standards in your life, you know, one, one standard at a time. And that ultimately builds the foundation you need for that big vision of yours. So, folks, that is all I have for you today. I hope it was helpful. And I do look forward to future episodes where we can learn, grow, and most importantly, get real together. Take care, everybody.